what does the word selfishness mean? It means caring about yourself, right? It means being concerned with your own life and your own well-being. Now, if so, what about all the people who pursue their own well-being, pursue their own interests, without victimizing others? What about a college student who diligently spends his time studying rather than partying? Or an athlete who tirelessly trains in order to become a champion? Or an inventor who is dedicated to getting rich by devising a better mousetrap? Or an artist who is devoted to creating a work that fully reflects his own ideals. Now, aren't these people being selfish? Certainly they are. They're acting to improve their lives. They're pursuing their goals. But they're doing it not at the expense of others. They're creating the values they want. They are not seizing it from others. Why then shouldn't this type of behavior be the proper meaning of selfishness? Why can't we conceive of selfishness as pursuing your interest without victimizing others? Why is that part of the essential definition? It doesn't belong there. The political and intellectual leaders of today don't want us to think of selfishness in this way. They want us to think of selfishness as somebody who victimizes other people. Even though there's an obvious distinction between a producer and a predator, between, let's say, Warren Buffett and Bernie Madoff, that is between somebody who makes money and somebody who steals it, even though the difference is obvious, we're told that this distinction mu it must be blurred. We're not to make that distinction. We're to put everything in this one fuzzy package deal so that just as the predator is committing a moral crime, so are you whenever you act in furtherance of your own self-interest. This leaves us with a choice of either being a person who sacrifices himself to others by acting altruistically or sacrifices others to himself by acting, quote, selfishly. So we have the, the choice, the false choice, of let's say a Mother Teresa humbly sacrificing herself in service to others, or Attila the Hun who viciously sacrifices others in service to himself. What about the person who does neither? What about the person who pursues his goals and his values not at the expense of others? There's no such category, the advocates of altruism tell us. 